Hello everyone, Mitchell here at Mass Digital doing the unboxing and demonstration of the HDMI 50p. Uh, this is one of our most common products from Antiference, mainly due to its excellent value for money. What this allows you to do is extend a HDMI signal over 50 meters and also gives you the option to split it to two different screens. You'd mainly use these to hide a recorder usually or to give you more options. For example, your recorder could be in a loft, it could be in a cabinet, it could be hidden away, and you want to view your screen, your camera is more than sort of a 15 meter lead away. So included is your receiver and transmitter, and you also get a five uh, volt, one amp power supply to power the transmitter. And then using PoE, this will go down your ethernet cable into the receiver, which also powers that. What's also worth mentioning is the two magic eyes that are included. So this is for transmitting IR across the 50 meter distance, uh, which is obviously really useful to say if you're trying to uh, control the recorder or say like a skybox at the other end. All this leaves then is HDMI cables, which you uh, will need to use, uh, one at the transmitter end, one at the receiver end, and plus one if you're using HDMI loop out. As always, we'll be using the SMEDS 4K HDMI leads. Then all you need is your length of Cat5 or Cat6 up to 50 meters. So all you need going into the transmitter is the power supply that's included that we've already seen. Um, and then you need the HDMI in of the signal that you're trying to transmit. So this might be from a recorder, it might be from a skybox, something like that. Regardless of if you use the HDMI out, uh, the signal that you plugged in is then transferred over the Cat5 or Cat6 cable that you plug in up to 50 meters. Uh, and this then takes us to the receiver end, which is conveniently powered using PoE, uh, power over ethernet using that cable you sent across using the power supply at the transmitter end. This then leaves you with the HDMI out, which you can put into your screen, which can be all the way the distance across. So zooming out a little bit, we've got the, the transmitter on the left-hand side and the receiver on the right-hand side all plugged in. At this point, whilst the extenders are easily accessible, it might be worth referring to the manual to check the dip switches. These are responsible for equalising the signal, so depending on what length of cable you're using, depends on what dip switches you should be using. As our reader cable in the middle is 20 metres long, we'll be using the second option uh, to remove any distortion. So now you'll have the same screen across up to two different monitors, um, and these can be up to 50 metres away. Um, as you can see, I'm just clicking through the menus now, and there is no visible delay in response time. Uh, both pictures are the same quality, up to 1080p on this unit, on the 50p, and up to 4K on the V2. Both work exactly the same.